Hello everyone, this is Lightstar, and I'm going to do some activation today. And this is a light language activation for you all from the Orion energies. And I, before I do this light language, I want to share a little bit about the Orions so you have a better understanding about the energies. There's a lot of uh, different opinions and you know content out there about the Orions, and I'm gonna share from my perspective and the reason why I'm bringing this out now, particularly in this time period, because I've been speaking this language for quite some time, many years, but we are in a very trying and challenging and chaotic time on the planet. And we really need at this time a lot of strength, a lot of courage. And that is what, to me, some of the Orion energies bring. So I really wanted to share this with you today, hopefully in giving you all some inspiration forward and some magical energies that come from them as well. So let me talk a little bit about some of the Orion energies. Some of you have this concept that the Orions are of a negative vibration, a negative race of beings, and I want to clarify that just a bit because from my perspective, the Orions are actually one of the older, older, older races that is out there, and they are actually very benevolent beings when you're talking about the original Orions. So I use that term a lot. I talk about the original Orions versus some of the Orions that actually did turn and uh, be enslaved, if you will, by some of the negative vibrational forces via the Draco or reptilian races and during the Orion Wars. So there are some of this that I want to just clarify because before all of that, before all of that craziness happened, there was a race of beings that are the Orions, that are the original Orions, and they are a very high frequency and very high vibrational beings. They actually are very magical and super create, uh, courageous, I will say, in their abilities to withstand a lot. They're very strong beings and very, I wanna say almost hardy of the earth. Uh, when we talk about hardiness of the earth, they remind me a lot of that very earthbound, but in their planet, it's not you know earth. We're just talking about planetary bound. So in their surroundings with being very uh, tied closely with nature and the elements, very much using the elements uh, to create. So they're very adept at manifesting in creation and they're very magical beings. So I want, to talk about them in this way because these original Orion beings, to me, they have expressed the connection to that of the original Druidic culture on our planet because they were the original Druids. So those energies, what we know of it as the Druids, are gonna be uh, the closest probably connection or the closest analogy I can share with uh, what they are, are about and some of their energies. So that's where I have gotten my uh, kind of connection with them is that uh, these original beings were very pure, very clear, very magical, courageous, strong, and very uh, intent beings. So they had high frequency, high vibration, very connected to creator source and very loving beings, might I add. Now, having said that, I also want to express that they look a little bit more scary than all of that. <laughs> so how they come across, and I'm gonna show you this in my uh, Orion magical creation image that I've created here because I, depicted these as closely as I could and trying to get the energy of it, but also uh, taking a look at the image itself that I have created for this is uh, 
I want to say a bit stronger than some of my other uh, art images because of the nature of this intensity that they have. So in some ways the you know very strong and very intense look that they have is a little deceiving as to the actual true nature of their being and, and who they are. So it's, it's a lesson sometimes for us to not judge by the book and the cover or the cover on the book. Don't judge a book by its cover, that's what it is. So in, in saying this, I, I also wanted to read to you the description that I've written on my descriptor cards about the image itself so it can give you a little bit better idea about the Orions and what they are coming from and where they're coming from. This is the essence of the image itself. We are the Orions, the keepers of magical realms and light-based ancient wisdoms. We embrace a sacred connection to all planets within the cosmos and we are master manifestors in the etheric and physical realms. Emanating confidence, courageousness, strength, and resiliency, our intentions are in alignment with the co-creative universal love of Prime Creator. We are the warriors of truth, wizards of light, and time lords who originally seeded the realms of magic in many universes. We serve not to overpower, but to empower. For eons of time in the past, Dark forces have corrupted and misused our energies, but we continue to hold a torchlight of truth, infinitely empowered by love, forever and in all dimensions. So that is the actual energy frequency of what I received when I uh, got the information coming through from the Orions. So even my own concept and, and some of the material that you'll find on the internet or whatnot might depict them in a very dark light and dark agendas. But that is not all of the Orions. Some of them were coerced or enslaved or forced into uh, or uh, turned a different light into the dark forces working with the more negatively based agendas of the reptilians or the dracos or whatnot. But yes, that did happen. It's no different than humans that turn their you know, a, a different leaf and decide to go to the dark side. So that happens with humans as well as any other race that might be coerced or forced into a whole different lifestyle and enslaved by and not even wanting to follow that agenda, but having to do it anyway. Now, in my view, the uh, darker forces enslaved uh, or went after them in the first place because of their power. So they're very powerful beings and they wanted to dominate over their uh, power and also utilize their skill sets for negatively based reasons and intentions. So that's just the overview that I uh, wanted to share with this because I wanted to give a different light on this and I also wanted to share this particular activation again, due to the difficulty that we're all uh, traversing on this planet right now, uh, knowing that they have also gone through this, and many races have gone through and uh, you know, as times of planetary ascension and had to go through a lot of difficult times in the process. But particularly I feel uh, the Orions have really had to go through it. And so they know what it's like. I feel like there are, you know, forefathers in some ways trying to bring uh, the energy frequencies of that strength and that courage for us to keep going, to never give up, and to have that place of centeredness and balance within all things and within all times of uh, the, you know, turbulence, if you will. So. Having said that, I'm going to share this energy with you. I want you to know that. In actually speaking this language, it may go a lot slower because this is a very magical language. And I also wanted to uh, go slower with it so that it has time to integrate and also really come into play. Some of the languages, and, and this is one of them, that tends to be more uh, of a slower pace, a slower nature, and more intention comes behind it. So as you're listening to the energy coming through, 
and just allowing that to flow through your body, allowing it to move into wherever it, night it wants to move into your body and realign you or uh, clear as well. And just uh, focusing on that positive intention of love. And one of the things that I will share uh, towards the end of this is the uh, a specific line that they like to say that was interpreted word for word. It's one of the few things that I ever interpret word for word in a, in a light language activation. But I did get this from the Orions and I wanted to share this with you so that you understand the love that is within them and the positive intentions when we're talking about the original Orion energy. So, here we go guys, I just again, when you're listening to light language, whether you're uh, closing your eyes or having your eyes open, just allowing it, your mind to just open up and expand beyond what you feel, think, know, or perceive, or in your consciousness about what you think the Orion energy is. Just put that off to the side for a moment for some of you and allow yourself to experience something uh, new and different and always 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 placing your higher self in the picture and allowing your higher self to guide within you what your higher self wants you to experience and allow that to be uh, exactly perfect for you so here we go enjoy Senestros Ustrea Feniaken Lamin Utan Ferianan Sestos Sentiela Ustreos Beneste Tanifel Shanyan Semiel Natie Sukeash Shanyan Sumale Fentas Fenestros Sentile Imperio Anti Shantele Ustan, Kirian, Shunele, Semtere, Kalin, Fenesto, Sutale, Sutan, Bishist, Sanimen, Kalimi, Beshesa, Bestinel, Eb, Eratos, Sentare Memtos Us Feheratar Selim Sentilea Ustane Curante Falamil Litale Mintos Semti Kali Kalima Fenestos Shentili Kaleha Kalen So just breathe that energy in. It's very calming, it's very soothing, it's very grounded, and it's very to the point and intent. And I want to share the uh, last part of it Overall, well, first of all, I just want to say overall, this message is one of bringing a sense of peace and calm within you to harness that energy that you have within you to be in your true self and your true nature to connect with that of the creator and the creator's love for you within and to utilize those energies to get you through all the struggle and all the strife 
energetically, that's the overall message. And the last part, I want to uh, express a word for word, which basically does mean a, it's a message of love and it basically means empower me with love throughout forever and in all dimensions. And that is one of the most common phrases I hear from them. And it is the Beshesa Bestenel Eb Eratos Centari Mentos Us Feheratad. So, with that most empowering message, I want you to go forth and have the strength to get you through all the trying times right now, knowing that you are in this illusion, feels real. But your soul is actually the one going through this and experiencing this time right here and right now that you chose to be here. And you chose to experience life at this time. So embrace this as best you can with love and carry that through in all the dimensions is basically that message. Very powerful. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and it has helped you to have that coming from that place of peace and calm and also giving you a little bit of insight into another perspective of the Orion energies which may or may not be expressed but these are the warriors these are the beings of light who have been through so much and I want to honor them for bringing their their magical and strong abilities and to give us courage and strength when we need it so thanks for watching you guys if you'd like to work with me further with any session work i have on my website you can go look at my starseed alignment sessions i have light language activations for you as well in different ways and as well as my artwork online and uh, you can check all of that out my oracle deck to uh, my magical dimensions oracle deck and you can check that out on lightstarcreations.com. And if you'd like to subscribe to uh, more of these type of things, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I uh, would love to assist you guys further in your journey. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. And you can reach me at my contact page or on the, my Facebook page as well. I send you guys all blessings, sending you that strength and that courage uh that courage stream that is going to flow through this time period whatever you're going through everything's going to be okay just hold on stay the course be strong come from your heart most importantly come from love many blessings to you all bye now <laughs>